welcome to this edition of Video Drone by DIY3dtech.com. We're out in this empty park. We've checked hover. We're good to fly. Uh, we're probably about a mile away from a recreational uh, aircraft use area, so uh, but we're good to go. So let's go ahead and we got this set up, so let's go ahead and take off. So we're going to, I'm using the iPhone 5S today. And so I'm going to let it hover around. I'm going to start. Notice I have a little landing pad for it now. Actually, that opens up. That's actually just the case. But it's actually a good size uh, for the spark. So everything looks good on it. Everything looks good in the screen. I'm going to try to get back here in the shade a little bit. And uh, what I want to do is take this out and up a little bit. And uh, I want to spin it around. Let's take it over this way. Let's take her up over these fields. We have a little bit of a gust today. So we got it going up. So up about 33 meters, about 90 some feet. So it's hanging in there. We have, uh, you can see it up there. Uh, I want to yaw it around back this way. Let's kind of get a yaw, get an idea for what we have for area around us. It's uh, pretty open. I'm out here in basically farmland. And I want to take it out yet this way a little bit further. And uh, it's heading out there nice and smooth. We're just going to take it out. Yaw it back a little bit. Take it out at an angle. Man, I tell you what, this uh, iPhone 5S screen versus the bigger screens I've been using, it's definitely harder to see. But I seem to be getting better responses with um, Apple than I did... Uh, uh, Android, so it's definitely an improvement. So we're just taking it out there. So I think I'm out about 27, 120, 130 some meters. And we're just flying along. Now I'm going to turn it back around due to a little bit of more of a slow pan up there. Beautiful sunny day on this Friday afternoon, just kind of panning it around. And you see a bunch of the farmland out there. So, uh, and like I say, we got we got a few wind gusts. So just taking it back around. I want to find my location. So there's my rough location. So I want to kind of fly it back towards me a little bit. So it should be coming back towards me. Ah, there it is. Okay. She's coming back in over there. Coming back up this field. Let's you out back around so we head this way. I think I'm above those trees. Let's take it up a little bit higher. I want to make sure I'm definitely above those trees, so that's good. I want to take it out this way a little bit. See what the scenery looks like. A I don't know if you can see it up there. It's kind of cruising along over the trees. Having the shade here really helps them in sort of this lean-to. I'm getting down around 50-some percent on battery. So I got a ways to go yet. I'm gonna walk over here and see what I can. Let's kind of do it a little bit of a yaw. Back around. 
ground. And I'm going to, after this year, I'm going to start bringing it back towards me a little bit. Wherever I am. And kind of following a little bird around from my home point, so I point it back at my home point. So I should now be flying it, I think, I hope, back to my home point or the general area. So I hear it getting louder. There it is. I want to fly back out that way a little bit. Whoops, yawned it the wrong way. And I'm going to stop it there for a second. I'm going to take a look at the battery. I'm starting to get up around 30 some percent, so it's going to start giving me a little battery warning here in a little, a little bit. I'm at 38, so I'm above my return to home altitude. I'm going to try facilitating a return to home on this because I was having problems with it last time on the Android device. So I'm just going to do some uh, gimbaling. Where is my gimbal control here? See, there's baseball diamond. That's uh, beneath it. And there's the horizon. And I'm getting it about 32. So I just want to do another pan. And I, I have to say, the iPhone is performing. I'm not getting any dropouts, anything like that um, on it. So the uh, it's working actually pretty good. So I now have a low battery warning, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to institute the return to home. So I'm going to push the return to home button. And let's see what happens. Nothing. Okay, so now it's going home. I guess you really have to hold that button. I'm really not used to that. I guess, well, most of the other ones I've dealt with have had a switch. I want to make sure that this doesn't land on the roof of this building because I started out fairly close. Yeah, so far it looks good. So let's see where she comes down on top of things. So it's coming down nice. Even though I got a little bit of wind buffeting it. I don't know if you can hear it, but man, it's uh, that bird found it rather interesting. I don't know if you can see the bird up there around the drone. Here it comes. It's looking actually pretty good on its way down. I'm going to save out the video. And so it's coming down pretty fast. It's about 10 feet off of the, uh, the uh, pad. And I want to try to get it on there. The wind's buffeting it a little bit. I don't know if I'm going to make it. I got a little bit more to play with. But that wind is uh, making it a little bit difficult for me to stick it over. I think there it goes. Pretty darn close. So uh, we got. Uh, for some reason, this has given me a lot of... I'm back now to a compass error. I was uh, at a compass error before. I did the compass calibration. But I don't know. I'm going to go back here and think. So maybe you can, I can get it in the screen. Compass calibration error. So um, I calibrated it before I started, but now it's back to having an error since I've landed. But it obviously landed itself. I had GPS throughout the whole time. So I'll have to check that out a little bit more. But anyways, that, that was, I think, a pretty good flight of the um, uh, Spark. And
happening with the 5S, it, uh, make sure I get this in the picture, I think it actually worked pretty good. So, But I don't know if this compass calibration issue is related to this. I may try switching it out and try to go back to my Android for the next flight. So anyways, hopefully you enjoyed this little bit of video with looking at the farmland. And if you did, give it a big thumbs up. And again, subscribe button coming up over there. Hit it. And uh, let me know in the comments what you had for lunch. And I'll see you later. Cheers.